It's the magic of math here, and today we're going to write a fraction as a decimal using long division. Here we go. Which of the following is equivalent to 11 eighteenths? And we're given four answer choices to pick from. Here's where I'd like you to pause the video, do your best work, and then come back to see mine. Good luck. Welcome back. So we want to determine which of these four decimal values is equivalent to the fraction 11 eighteenths. Reviewing that 11 eighteenths can be written as a division problem. It is the quotient 11 divided by 18. The fraction bar is a division symbol, 11 divided by 18. Now we need to write this using long division. So again, it's as you read it, 11 divided by 18. That's how you set it up. Now we know that 18 is larger than 11. So I'm going to add a decimal point and some trailing zeros so that we can find this decimal value. We know that 18 does not go into 11, so we're going to add our zero and our decimal point. So now we're going to determine how many times the value 18 goes into 110. So that is 6. 6 times 18 is 108. 110 subtract 108 is 2. We're going to bring down the 0 and we have 20. 18 goes into 20 one time. 1 times 18 is 18. 20 subtract 18 is 2. Bring down another 0, and we know that 18 is going to go into 20 one time. 1 times 18 is 18. We subtract, we get 2. We can see that if we bring down another 0, it's going to go in one time, we're going to have a remainder of 2, so that this is going to continue being 1 infinitely. So when we look at our answer choices, we can see that choice A and choice D are what we call terminating decimals. They stop, they end, there's no repeating symbol. So we know that answers A and D are not our answer choice because our decimal extends infinitely. It's a repeating decimal. Now we're going to consider choices B and C. In choice B, there's one digit that repeats, the 1. In choice C, there are two digits that repeat. This would be 0 0.616161. Here we can identify that we only have one digit that repeats. It's the one that is going to continue to repeat. So our decimal value that's equivalent here, our answer choice, is going to be answer choice B, where the one repeats. So 0 0.61 repeating. Answer B is equivalent to 11 eighteenths. And that is how you write a fraction as a decimal using long division. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. Hope you have a great day and come back soon.